So this is the next sort of rational function, irrational function, whatever, that we have to, to sort of integrate. The difference here is, is that, we've got the thing on the bottom? that there's more than just x on the bottom. All right. So what this technically says is this divided by this. All right. Now, the fact of the matter is that it does just have an x on the bottom. So according to my rules up till now, you can use ln if it just has x on the bottom. It is still true, but before we can integrate it, we have to actually do something to it. So something that we haven't actually studied in this course But you've heard of before. So we're going to use long division. All right. So let's say our example is 3x plus 2 over x minus 1. What we're asking, first of all, is how many times can x minus 1 be taken out of 3x plus 2? Now, to do this, we're actually only going to be interested in that first 3x and the x on the bottom. We're going to leave the numbers. They will just sort of wiggle around and help themselves. So what we're technically doing is looking at this. Way back, I mean, you probably some of you won't have even seen that at primary school because they don't do it anymore. But you used to do it like 3 into 46 or whatever, and you went 3 into 4 went 1, and then that was 16 left over, and 3 into 16 went 5, and then there was one left over, and you put R1, or you grew up, and you put point, and you went into going into finding decimals. This is exactly that same process. We want to think, what can we do to remove that 3x. What will we multiply this by to remove that 3x? 3. So we stick a 3 at the top and we get 3x minus 3 and we subtract no, you get three. Oh, you get and, then, <laughs> and then we minus this. So we get that go away. 2 minus minus means 5. So we've got a remainder of 5. We're going back to that stage. <clears throat> nice little remainder of 5. But all of that means that we can rewrite this as 3 plus remainder 5 over x minus 1 dx. Because we've done that, we can integrate these as the two terms. So we can integrate 3 and get 3x. We can integrate this and get Plus C. All right, but we can't just go here and go whatever. I can't even imagine what you'd like to do to that. But whatever it is that you're making up is not allowed. Have to go through this process. So it actually can get trickier than that, just for fun. So why would you not be able to use LN? Okay, let's look at an x squared one. So. Let's say we've got 2x squared plus 6x minus 1 over x plus 3. I mean, obviously, if that turned into an x squared -y thing, then we've got a little bit of problems on our hand. But we won't worry about that just at the moment. So this one here, again, going through this process, all right, so we've got x 2, x squared plus 6, x minus 1, divided by x plus 3. What do we multiply this by to get that? 2x, correct. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3 is plus 6x, correct? All right, so therefore, when we subtract, that leaves a minus 1. So we're actually already there. But we might have got a remainder, and we might have had to add something else up here. 
But for now, we only want to get to that stage where we've got that. So we get the integral of 2x minus 1 over x plus 3 dx. All right, so integrating 2x, we get, well, integrating it, so we don't have the integral sign anymore, what do we get? x squared divided by 2, which cancels with the 2. And for this one, ln of x plus 3 plus c. All right, so the tricky thing here is rewriting it. 